get a SMS text when your your streamer goes online. Reference implementation, okay, for my future self. So we've got the Twitch webhooks event sub API, which goes like this. First, you create a request to Twitch. You post to the endpoint and you give them a bunch of details about what you want. You want to subscribe to this streamer and then here's how you reach me. They will call you back with a get request to your endpoint and a challenge. You have to respond with a 200, yes that's okay, and respond exactly with that challenge, boom. And then you're subscribed. So then just wait for a notification. When the streamer goes online, they'll make a post to your endpoint and you handle it there. Okay, so that's that's the the long and short of it. That's how it works. Um, there we go. Let's see how um, the Twitch dev explains it. He says send a subscribe request to Twitch for a particular topic, and then Twitch sends a verification get request to your server. Sure, it's successful. And you have to respond with the challenge. Once you once you finish the verify step, Twitch will post notifications to your server when the topic triggers. Your web server, upon receiving that notification, need to respond with a 200. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, you got to respond here. You got to respond with a 200. So status code then from the notification your server um, then from the notification your server would work out if the stream went online offline or was the challenge so it's going live your server would message you whatever message you want okay so yeah so basically you just have to respond with a 200 message there's other there's other notes in there um, that says you have to like poll the server every hour to make sure that the token still valid um, that's a little confusing I ended up going with the twerple uh, implementation, and there's a there's actually a good uh, support in the Discord for that too. So um, yeah, I ended up going with twerple because that was what worked for me. And uh, let's just actually let's take a look at it um, at the, the 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 final the final product here is this site, and uh, uh, the app looks like this. Okay. That's the whole app. Uh, the client, basically for the authentication, basically the part that this part here, um, part okay, part of it before actually bef before you even before you even make this post, you have to authenticate. You have to have a live client. So there's a bunch of stuff beforehand, and anyway, so there's a yeah, there's a bunch of preamble you have to go through. So we just skip that. All right, huh. and uh, I went to the Twerple client to give me, I put in my app client ID in secret, which you get that from Twitch Dev. I have the links in here. So you get an auth, you get an auth, auth provider, and then you pass that to the client. You have a live client, and I, I went ahead and exported that to my app. Okay, I pulled in the client. I have some other like secret. This is where you're gonna sign your post request with the secret. The user ID is gonna be who I'm brought who who I'm who I'm uh, subscribing to. And then the host name is just like the name of this actual thing, so it knows where it's listening or where to where to send the call back to. Um, okay, so it's just an express app. I made this hello world route just to test it. And then here's the real item. Create a middleware with the API client, host name, and a secret. And then create a run event because this doesn't handle top level await. Um, and we just call middleware to apply. Listen, just like an express server. And then we await, we await this middleware. Market is ready. And then sub to the online event with the user ID. User ID is your broadcaster. So that's this is going to be listening for the post request from Twitch. This one, this one. This one here. What's that? Okay. So it's listening. And then um, when you upon that firing off, when that happens, 
it'll call the SMS client to send a message from the origin to your destination server with this message. This broadcaster just went live. Let's take a look at that real quick. SMS client. I'm using Vonage. It was just a uh, it was an alternative to Twilio. Twilio has kind of made some weird uh, decisions lately, um, politically, so I just feel like I want to find something else. Anyway, so uh, <clears throat> so we require this Vonage create out of the API in secret, create a client, and export that. Okay, that's the whole thing. Um, I could demo this. I'll just say no to that. Hey, listening on 3000. I'm going to go ahead and start streaming. And on my phone, it'll give me a little chime. It'll give me a chime. And uh, this right here in the... Um, console uh, I'll show it too. This won't show anything because this is actually subscribed to a different broadcaster. No, not me. This one this is actually the real site. This one's just a test. Alright, so just went on successfully. 